Hello everybody. We're back to Mom Judy. Hello. Welcome to our reaction channel. Today we are continuing with our Better Call Saul reactions. We're just in four episodes of one. So before we begin, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And if you want to watch our full length reaction to this episode of Better Call Saul, you can find it on my Patreon. And here, yeah, I'll showcase off Mom's hoodie. Mom got a Don't Drink the Tea hoodie. Here, can you hold it? And, uh, boom, there we go. This one's a large. Yeah, she got a large. They're like big and baggy. Yeah, she does. <laughs> and you see it's gray. So, you know, they come in like gray and white and pink and they come in hoodies and t shirts. All that good stuff. So, if you're interested, you can find it on the um, store down below. Link down below. Okay, so last episode Chuck, his house caught on fire. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's probably this one's called Smoke. Yes, we don't know if he's dead or alive. Yeah, we all know. One in dead or alive. Okay, sorry. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> what was that? Is that fun song? No, that was just me. Whoa. Oh, oh my yeah. god, you're so funny. Yeah. That's, um, that's the biggest thing. Okay. Because, yeah, Chuck was losing it. Yeah, he was. Oh, yeah, he was ripping his whole house apart. Mm -hmm. And he told Jimmy that Jimmy never mattered to him. Yep. <clears throat> Rough. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's get into it. Okay. He's, oh, oh! That's right, he passed out, remember? Oh, I forgot about that. That's just the stress of... His stuff. life. Yes. Mr. Takovic, can I have another look at your driver's license? Mm-hmm. I've never seen this before. Oh, wait. I typed the letter O instead of a zero. <laughs> My God. Well, he just about had another heart attack. I know. Or well, had one. Because he didn't have one before. That almost gave him one, though. He's like, I don't want to go to jail. No, I know. Uh-oh. Does this person recognize him? Hmm. It's, it's a green light. Hmm. Creepy. I know. Hmm. That's pretty intense. <clears throat> okay. So you make a good used car salesman. <laughs> oh, God, ain't he? Not even used, just a car salesman. Yeah, I just, I know. Honestly, I feel like Jimmy could sell me anything. He's got that charisma. Jimmy, go. Oh, oh, oh. He died. Yeah, corner usually, yeah. Oh, Chuck. Oh, snap. Oh. Wow. They killed off Chuck. And he was making progress, you know? And then he slipped back. Yeah. I mean, he committed suicide. Because he knew hitting uh, that lantern was... Oh, yeah. I think he wanted to die. Because he kept kicking it. till it fell. I feel like we haven't seen Mike in, like, forever. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I guess we have. I just... He hasn't been doing much. Yeah. Well, he's been working here. <laughs> Hope he's getting more sleep. Mike, you need your sleep. You're not daredevil. <laughs> <laughs> you take it easy. Oh, is he retiring or something, maybe? Oh, he's got that money. So, uh, money. the boss says he's going to want the windbreaker. <laughs> of course he does. Because Gus was like, well, you know, if you want to work with me or together or whatever you say. Make it go. What's wrong with it? You're standing on it. I don't think so. She's like, I'm not stupid. <laughs> You're standing on it. Sweet. 10,000 bucks. I have all money he already had. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> He's going to be bored. <laughs> he already looks bored. Mike, take a nap. Get some sleep. That's what you need. He's like, I don't sleep. Don't you know I'm a superhero? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's Dolphin Man. That's right. 
I think that's what I called him before. He's so bored, look at him. I know. He's gonna go work with Gus Gus. You know, for all his money, he could really spruce up his house. You know, get a, get a better TV. Mm hmm. But he doesn't. I must keep it low key. Yeah, but he could buy a new TV. You know, the end's gonna question. Making him the youngest graduate in the history of that school. That's of course. Jesus. Of course. He graduated at 14. In his undergraduate years at the How University of Pennsylvania. How does one do that? Charles led the debate team to national championship. Okay, is this like his resume or what? Literally, right? <laughs> Charles made his mark in many areas of the law. Oh my God, don't tell us how many. Early in his career, he <laughs> oh my God, he is going to. <laughs> oh, now we're talking about uh, Jimmy. Yeah. Uh, that is what I have. <laughs> It's me, Howard. Sounds good. <laughs> he likes it. Howard, you should go ahead with it. <laughs> oh my god, Howard. That's a... Are it's like a freaking resume. Normally that long? No. Like, you need the whole back page of the obituaries to fit all of that. Oh lordy. Some might be, I don't know. Mine will just be... Judy yada yada. Oh, don't be talking about your bitch. Because I'm going to have to flip and write the thing. You can't do it till you're like 100 and I'm like in my 70s or something. 67. She lived a long life of 102. Yes. She was a cent... What are they? I don't know what it's called. There's a term for people who live 100 years more. It's like centrist or something. Because mm. it was a whole century. She lived a whole century. It was an amazing mom. She's practically a superwoman. Oh, she wanted to be. Wish I could fly. <laughs> she came close. Yeah. My obituary would say, too sassy for her own good. <laughs> <laughs> and she was such a mess. <laughs> that was, that's, yeah. That'd be my obituary. Once a mess, always a mess. <laughs> yeah. My initials literally stand for mess, you guys, if you're wondering. Oh, oh that? yeah, that's right, the good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right, Hector! Oh, yeah, I forgot about him. Mmm, oh, look at him. He's scary oh, when he wants to be. This guy's is scary when he wants to be, right? Totally random. We've never... <laughs> so random. We've never seen Gus have, like, a romantic interest. Does he not have time for that stuff? I have no idea. Or is, he, or is he maybe like asexual or something? Oh. Or he's just like, I got no time for that. One bolsa wants to see. Mm. Oh, that's a snap. I didn't snap it to get someone's attention. So rude. Hey. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, smart empty of the mouth. Oh um, yeah. Just in case that bottle washes up on shore or something. Is that Mike? I think so. No. Oh no. What's his name? Looks for Gus Gus. Oh! They have a track around Asha. Is this car gonna explode or something when he set, turns it on? Isn't that good? Oh! Oh, that's all it is. My... Huh. Just wanted his badge. <laughs> and picked it. Oh, he was looking for his badge. Or a bar dude. Yeah. That he could... Pass off after somebody looked at it quick, like... Hey, hold up. Wait. Wait. Did you sign uh, Tina's birthday card? Yeah. <laughs> no. Would you mind? Not at all. <laughs> I don't even know who he is, but like, I oh, know. he must work in the office here. So. He has a bad run. 
That's something with Mike. They always have him going on missions, and we're left like, what's he doing? What's <laughs> he doing? What's he doing? <laughs> what's he doing? I know. And we have to be rest assured that we always figure it out. They always show us a I know, and then we're like, oh, okay. But we're so impatient. We're like, Mike, just tell us what I you're know. doing. I know. What are you doing? I waltzed through security with <laughs> someone else's ID. Nobody gives me a second look. When the rifle owner shows up, there's no facility wide badge check. Disregarding Wait, safety. Hold on, hold on. Who are you exactly? Ah. Ermin Trout, security consultant. He was improving until the thing with the insurance. Oh. So it wasn't the bar hearing. Oh, he's good. Jimmy's fault. The insurance? Yeah. That was a ridiculous. Oh, thing. no. Our malpractice insurance. They found out about Chuck's condition and raised our rates. Chuck went ballistic. Mm. He wanted to go to war. It's really Jimmy's fault. Yes. Kind of ish. Kind of both their fault. Right. I think he did what he did because of me. Well, Howard, I guess that's your cross to bear. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. Wow. Hot oh, dang, dude. Well, he's hurting. When you're just half as guilty. Well, it's because he's hurting. Yeah. He's, he doesn't want to. So I'm going to make some coffee? Maybe you want some? He's in denial. Yeah. Hmm. Kim's like, oh. But that's, I think that's so normal for people, though, sometimes to, like, you know, go in denial and do things that you, that you don't expect them to do. Like, you know what I mean? Or act a certain way. Cause, I mean, I think that's just, I mean, you know, of course, everyone does things differently, you know? Discussion time. Oh, okay. Chuck? Died. He did die. He did die. Yeah, we weren't sure. <coughs> um, <clears throat> and okay, so Howard was guilty. Uh huh. Because he pushed him out of the company. But Jimmy is the one that kind of set it in motion with that insurance, insurance thing. I think Jimmy felt really guilty, but right at the end, he's all like, "Oh, well, wait, Howard, it's your crest to bear." Yeah, Howard, if you want to feel guilty, you know, you go right ahead, because then I don't have to feel guilty. <laughs> He, um, well, Jimmy he still does. Jimmy's so in denial. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, Nacho's being watched by guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but he got rid of the evidence. Yeah. Mike. <laughs> Mike went to work. <laughs> yeah, Mike did go to work. <laughs> Mike got bored. <coughs> he quit his one job, right? And they got bored. <laughs> Man, a lot of people be like, sweet, retirement. Not Go Mike. to Disney World or something. Not McCall. Can you imagine Mike at Disney World? No. Just imagine you Mike. Hate it. Imagine Mike, you guys, imagine Mike with some Mickey ears on, holding some cotton. <gasps> well, he went for Kaylee. Yeah. He'd put those Mickey ears on, walk around with cotton candy he would for and a her. churro and all that good stuff for Kaylee. Oh, a churro, though. It's kind of a churro. It's not good. It's not vegan, though. But God. They're vegetarian though. Yeah. So if we ever want a cheat day. <laughs> Which we have. We've eaten. Only once. I've only had one cheat day since going vegan. Like a year ago. It was a year ago. When we were in Disneyland. We, no. I, I know. Oh, that's right. At Universal. Yeah, it was it's Halloween Horror Nights. Sorry. And, okay, total tangent. It was at Halloween Horror Nights <laughs> a year ago. And we're out walking about, right? And we just got hungry. And we were in an area where there was hardly any food. And there was just a little like stand, right? Oh, kiosk, yeah. Those, and they had churros. And we were like, we got that and some chips. And we were like, okay, it's a cheat day. Vegetarian, but not vegan. We're like, it's a cheat day. We and, had to eat. Oh, it was, like it, now, it's it like our blood sugar is dropping. And it tasted so good, but I feel like crap afterward because I don't normally eat that type of food. So, oh, I just didn't feel good. Yeah, afterwards. churro chips and water. Oh, mm. it's not, it was good in the moment. It was good in the moment. I felt like crap though <laughs> afterward. <laughs> Anyway, well, probably from the sugar and salts and stuff. Just it was all the fatty food. And yeah. Chips and my, I guess I don't really eat that stuff anymore. So I, my stomach was like, Ugh. you guys, I can't even eat like, cause I can't even half the time I can't even eat like processed vegan food because it makes me like crap. Yeah. <laughs> my stomach's like, you don't want processed food anymore. I'm like, oh gosh dang it. Um, that was only once cheat day, but again, I was vegetarian, so at least it wasn't that. Yeah. Bad. Um, and um. That's about well, it. Well, at the flat, not the flat, oh. the fast forward. Jimmy went to the hospital. Yeah. And the whole thing with the taxi driver was weird. That was weird. It was really weird. Um, oh my god, you guys, I wanted to tell you, I told you this before, but I wanted to tell you something really funny. 
I was on Reddit like uh, like a week ago or something or whatever. And I think it was like a, I don't know, probably like an Ask Reddit or something, whatever. And I don't remember the exact question, but they kind of posed this scenario that you said that you had to like sleep with the main character of the last show you just watched. Oh. <laughs> and and uh, that show, at the time I read that, happened to be Better Call Saul. <laughs> and I was like, well, Jimmy... This is you and me. Well, and for a second, I was thinking, oh, I could pick, like, Nacho or something. But then I was like, no, main character. The yeah, main main, which is Jimmy. Jimmy. And then I was thinking, and I told you this, I was thinking he would try to pretend to be, like, Kevin Costner or something. Yeah. Like, hey, he could be, like, just think of me as, like, a downgraded Kevin Costner. <laughs> no, no. I saw that and I wanted to show you guys before I forgot. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so I think that was, that was pretty much yeah. it. Yeah. <clears throat> But yeah, I can't believe he leave the coach check off. I know. I was yeah. And after he's making all that progress, I know. And he backs in hard. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I guess the season we'll see how Jimmy copes. With yeah. Because so far he's not coping. No. He's gonna have to cope. Yep. But let me just say the shock look on Howard's face when Jimmy was like, "Well, that's your class to bear, Howard." Well, like, it almost hurt me. I was like, oh. I know, Jimmy's like vicious. But well, yeah, he's hurting. Oh, yeah, that was pretty cold. That yeah, was cold. Um, yeah, so hope you guys, <laughs> on that note, hope you guys enjoyed the reaction to this episode. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And if you want to watch your full length reaction to this episode, better call Sally. You can find it on my Patreon, like usual, and have a beautiful, wonderful day. Good night.